Hey guys, welcome to uh, the second half of my Resident Evil Remake Let's Play. Um, I don't want to see that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I've already done Jill's scenario, I just need to do Chris's now. Hopefully, because I've done Jill's and I completed it, I'll know where all the items are. Uh, and I'll know what to expect. I mean, I know Chris's scenario has different characters in it and stuff. Um, and yeah, so let's begin. Resident Evil. Okay, so before I didn't I didn't know what this was. Um, it turns out it's the difficulty. Um, I'm still not quite sure which one is hard and which one is easy. Um, and I don't actually remember what I put last time. So I'll just put hiking, I guess. And I want to play as Chris. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. this way. Three stars members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. <sighs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? He's. No. 
What was that? I'll go and check it out. All right. Jill and I will stay and secure this area. Chris? Take care. Yeah. Right, well, it's time to begin this again. Yeah, okay. He has like two item spaces less than what Jill had, which is annoying because even Jill's, Jill's wasn't enough anyway. Um, I'm gonna s pick the thing up. Uh, so I don't want to save right now. So, and I'll probably, I don't like the knife. Did I already put that? Yeah, I did. I'm, I'm tired, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't like the knife in Resident Evil games. Apparently in Code Veronica it's supposed to be quite good though. But um, I'll equip it anyway, just because. Yeah. This isn't Chris's blood. Oh, wait. I'll take this now, I guess. Yes, I know. Although, I seem to remember we don't actually come across an item box for a long time, so I better not waste all my spaces in my inventory. Yo, dude. Just continue eating your dinner. I'm just not. I'm not gonna disturb you. I don't have Barry to rescue me from you, so I'm just gonna have to run away. I don't want to deal with you right now. So far, it's been pretty much like in the first game, but I don't know how far that will go. Wesker. Jill? Where did they go? Yeah, so this is pretty much so far how it, it Chris scenario was in the first game. But, you know, as we saw with Jill, I don't know how far to trust that because we saw how different it was from the first game. And I'm not going to be stupid this time and open that door either because, you know. I think the door in here is locked anyway, but oh well. This is also going to be harder because Jill has the lockpick and we don't have the lockpick. So, uh, in the first game, we had to find key like small keys instead. No, turn around. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Also I've recent no, I've recently got into The Walking Dead. And oh crap. I heard everyone ranting about it and saying how good it was, but I never had a chance to actually watch it. And then um my dad got a hold of season one and we watched it and I am like totally in love with it right now. Yay. Okay, cool. Yay. Although the dude's wife is just like one of the stupidest people I've ever seen ever in my entire life. Yeah. And she's actually quite annoying and I hate her so much. And the sun's kind of stupid as well, but there you go. Yeah, I already know this. Is that? Yeah, that's everything. And if I remember correctly, a zombie should come and attack me right now. If I can walk. <gasps> okay, I wonder if I can just go. No, I can't. Sorry if I don't talk much during this let's play or if I do stupid stuff at the moment because I am really tired. Wait, just so I can it's just so I know it's locked, isn't it? Yeah, okay. 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 Familiar territory. 
Chris. So yeah, The Walking Dead is awesome. My favourite character is probably Daryl Dixon because he's a badass. Um, I don't want to go out there right now. I think you have to go and find an arrow first from here. I'm going to take this part of the game quite seriously because um, the better I do in this bit the less awkward it will be later on because... Oh crap! Hi. I thought you were over there. Yeah, because uh, super zombies will come back and get me. And I don't want to kill... I don't want to waste my ammo on this guy at the moment because I don't think he'll be a, that much of a problem for me later on in the game. So... Oh. You know, Chris's scenario is a lot harder anyway. I don't know if the difficulty settings change that at all. Maybe they made Jill and Chris's easier and then they just put that instead. Um, but he does have less inventory space and I don't want to waste as much ammo because I have a feeling that it won't be quite as abundant as it was in Jill's scenario. I mean, I had a ton of ammo left over in Jill's scenario. There you go. Where is dude? He's over there. Okay. I don't remember which one of these doors is the way I'm thinking of. Okay, it's not that one. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay, yeah, I remember now it was locked from the other side. Hey, dude. No, oh, how's things? Well, at least we pushed that thing over. And do I want to save it right now? I will probably save it, just because I'm really tired. I don't know how many videos I'm going to do before I go to sleep. Go for the door. But yeah. Yeah, I have a uh, some more Wii Let's Plays coming up after this Let's Play. I think the next three or four games are going to be on the Wii. Don't hold, hold me to that because that might not be a great number and I might as well pick this up off of you. Yay, blue gemstone. Okay. So a zombie dude is still in here and I think there's another one in here as well. Obviously because of Jill's scenario I had Barry kill him. He wasn't as much... Okay, I had a feeling he was going to be right there but he's not. Is there just one in here then? Cool. I got that in the last bit. Oh, I wonder what happened to the other zombie. He must have just disappeared. Because I remember there was one in here in Jill's scenario. But I also killed one, so if I didn't kill that one as Chris, shouldn't he still be in there? Or not? Okay. Herbs. Pick up the herbs, please. Oh, crap. See what I mean? Dude. I wish I could just get rid of the knife. Does that dude have ammo on him? Oh, oh well. I can always come back later, I guess. I'm sorry if I'm talking really quietly as well, it's just as like people downstairs are sleeping, I don't want to disturb them. So. There you go. This is. Oh god. This is Dude. He got up and killed me because he was a super zombie. I ain't gonna let that happen this time. I'm gonna burn him early on. Oh shit. Oh, I keep forgetting about shit. I need to find an item box. What did I say at the beginning of this let's play not to clog up my items and I've just gone and done exactly that. Where is there an item box near here? I need to think because not all the doors are open now. Hmm. That was the first item box that we came across. I don't remember. Okay. 
Okay. Wait. Can I go through here? Yeah, okay. I thought not, but it was worth a try. I don't remember where the first item box was that we came to was in stuff. I wish there was an item box in the hall, like the main stairway bit, place, thing, entrance hall. You know what I'm talking about. Seriously though, where was it? I, I can't think right now. These doors are all locked, aren't they? Yeah. Oh god, dude, you know what? I thought playing this like as Chris would be a lot easier because I didn't watch he was Jill, but fucking I don't remember shit. I don't remember where the first item box is and it's really annoying me. Oh my god, this is so retarded. I'm retarded for not knowing where the hell this item box is. Um. Well, I'm stuck. Okay, maybe if I put the, uh, the th emblem back, I'll have an extra space so I can go pick up that arrow. That'll at least give me something to do, rather than just wandering around aimlessly wondering where the item box was. But seriously, where was the item box? I can't think off the top of my head. No, it wasn't. I seriously can't think. It was either the room where you first meet Rebecca in the original game, or the one in the place where you. near where you use the herbicide. And I can't think of which one it is really bugging me. Alright. Tragedy. Right, okay. Yes. Okay. Alright, well at least that's something. Okay, alright, we're, we're doing fine, we're making progress. I actually have quite a lot of ammo for this point of the game. I, think I, didn't, I don't think I had this much ammo before. But god, I wish I had those two extra spaces that Jill has, because that is just annoying. And a knife has taken one of them, and I don't even want it, so... You know, stuff. So I hear they're making um, a full version of the Resident Evil 1.5 thing that they made, which is like when they originally started to develop Resident Evil 2 and then they almost finished it, but then they decided to scrap it again and make the Resident Evil 2 we know today. And um, the original beta version, there was like loads of people who wanted, who like saw it and they wanted a full game of it. And I guess their wish. Okay, so yeah, okay, there's a key in here if I remember correctly. Yeah, it should be the back of this book. Yes. Alright, well at least at least we're getting somewhere. Book of Curse. The four masks, a mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, a mask that cannot speak, smell or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Yeah, I already read that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be reading out notes in this let's play because I already read them. I mean, I'll go through them slowly so that you can pause it and read it yourself if you really want to, but I don't, I just don't feel like doing that. The Jill let's play of this that I did was about, well it was between six and seven hours. So I'm hoping to get this done in 
less than that, hopefully. It was about 14 parts, so you do the math. Because I'm just too tired to do shit right now. What was the key we got again? I didn't check the thing. Sword. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. So the sword thing in here. And dude is blocked in there now so he can't get me. Which serves him right. scare me. That didn't scare me. That didn't scare me. Because I was kind of expecting it. So that's fine. Hi, dude. Okay. So that's where some, that's somewhere where Jill would be able to, oh right, here's the first time box. Okay. Can I? Okay. Yeah, so that would be the sort of door Jill would unlock with a lockpick, but I don't have that, so I think I have to find small keys like in the first game, but again, don't hold me to that because this game was so different from the first game last time. Okay. Can you, I think you can pull the plug out of here, can't you? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's where one of the small keys is. At least I know that now. Weren't there like really important doors to unlock that Jill unlocked with a lockpick? And I ain't going in there yet because I need to get a fake shotgun for in there. So yeah, that means I have to conserve my small keys, I guess. Wait, was it this door? With this? I'm sure it was. Yeah, okay, this is the door. Oh shit, I forgot about you. From the first time. You killed me, if I remember correctly, the first time. You're a bitch. Yeah. So that handle, I can't use that too many times. Whoa. Pixelated shadows. Oh, okay. I thought that would be ink ribbon, but there you go. I'm gonna put stuff back. I just telekinetically open that. Okay, I'm gonna put you back and never see you ever again. Ever. Ever. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put you back because I don't think I need you quite yet. I'm gonna take you with me. Did I have all this stuff in as Jill? I think I did actually. Yeah, okay. Uh, I might as well make this one whole thing. And I'm gonna go save. I'm gonna take that with me. Oh crap, did I save over my Jill scenario? See, I'm tired, I don't understand what I'm doing. But does that even matter because it's like green? Maybe that means I've already completed a game. Which I have as Jill. Oh, okay, can I just take however many keys I want and just take up one slot? That's helpful because I don't have as many space, as much space as Jill. See, can you tell I'm tired? I'm saying stuff wrong. Okay, I already read this, but pause it and read it if you want. Oh, dude, I just realised. If I have a sp Oh, no, don't worry. My lighter doesn't take up the actual inventory space. Oh, that's because Jill's lock picked it up. Okay, right. But still, you know, if I want to carry a canteen around with me, that's like one space gone. I mean, 
means I'll only really have five spaces. That sucks. Was that already filled? No. Alright. Okay, we're back on track. We're doing stuff. We're doing good. Oh, crap. Get off of me. I think Chris is supposed to have more health than Jill as well, so that's helpful. Yeah, okay, I have to be careful with how many times I go through there. I can't take that door for granted. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get that small key. And... Oh crap, zombie's still in there. <gasps> oh man, that scared me. You bitch. He's like, zombies out here. No, I'm right here. He did. Good, he died. Okay, that's that's great. <sighs> At least I don't have to deal with you in such a tight space. Okay. Let's go through this door. Oh right, I should burn that body. Totally forgot about that. three things in it last time. Why is there only two now? Is this part of the whole Chris's thing is harder? Because that sucks. Why can't I use the same key? Why don't I have to use a different old key for every single lock? Oh god. Right. So I want to take that. Oh, there's health out here, but I can't take it, so... Okay. Oh, I know where it is if I need it, so it's fine. Right, what am I going to do now? I guess I'll go back to the save room. I need some health. I need some health. This zombie dude bites me again. I might just kill him to get him out there now, so he's not an annoyance later. Oh, please don't eat me. Oh, you bitch. What did I just say to you? I specifically told you not to eat me, and you just ignored me. Head of it exploded earlier. That would have been a lot handier, but there you go. And I can't carry you because you're a bitch. I'm gonna leave it here for now. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Goodbye.